You all heard it. You all heard it. Okay. So, uh, everybody heard that. And, uh, <laughs> okay. So, walaikum salam, walaikum salam. Um, everybody saw that. Everybody saw that. And I do apologize if everyone felt that that was, you know, out of Reza's character or no, 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 it wasn't. You heard no threats coming from Brother Reza. You heard no, none of that. But that individual has been doing a lot of threatening, uh, a lot of threats. He's been saying a lot of a lot of horrible things. And I mean, horrible things about the nation, the Minister Farrakhan, other people, a whole lot of black groups. He's been saying horrible things about everybody. Except for uh, white organizations and except for uh, all these different organizations. So I'm just going to say it this way. Everybody, if you didn't watch the last live or record it, make sure you go watch it. Record it. Post it on social media. Post it on Instagram. Post it on YouTube. So that everybody can see that there was no threats. But I called him out on a number of things and he tried to deflect. All right. He tried to go into saying a lot of different negative. I mean, it was just terrible. I'm like, brother, what? Come on. So we, you know, we were very peaceful with him and we were doing our best to just, you know, get past it like men. We talked to him over the phone. We talked to him over the phone, you know, and it's like, brother, what? Why would you, you know, do so much of this negative? And that's because. Yes, he, he works for the government. That's actually how that goes. That's why he, you know, they try to say things to pull you into threatening and say things to harm. Him. No, we can have a friendly sparring match is what I said. We're going to have a sparring match in a boxing ring because we both do martial arts. That's not a, you know, I'm not, I'm not banging on you like, come see me. Like, you know, that's, that's not, no. Like he was saying, pull up and you'll find out I, I, I'm not, brother, I'm not uncivilized. Sorry. But that's not how Farrakhan teaches us. <laughs> We're very civilized. Um, and he definitely said, you know, pull up and I will beat your brass is what he said to me. He said he's going to beat my ass. OK, so you can take that how you want, family, but he's definitely an agent provocateur. Um, that's what he's doing. So this has to be understood. Those who are talking against all the black organizations, all of the people who are doing our best to unite and help our people, you have to look at them carefully. You have to look at them carefully. You have to look at them. You really have to look at them. He said all of these negative things and he said, I don't give a damn. I don't care. I said it and what? See, that type of mentality, man, it's like, brother, you cannot be saying all these horrible things. This stuff is terrible, but... If he is protected by the U.S. government and he's saying these. OK, put it this way. He said a lot of things about killing people, about Minister Farrakhan, you know, dying. And he prays that the cancer eats him up and kills him alive. And he was on a video with Sarah Sutton said he it's all on YouTube and said he said, yeah, let's chop off some of the Muslim niggas heads, chop their heads off. He was saying physically, let's chop their heads off. OK, that is threatening the lives of people. You're threatening the lives of people. Literally, you're threatening to physically harm people. And because of that, on YouTube, there are policies. This is how you know Young Pharaoh's an agent. There are policies on YouTube. Hate speech is one of them. Threatening to harm. Actual threats to harm is another part of the policy where they will flag videos and take videos down. And at a certain point, take your page down. Brother Ben's page was taken down and they said it was for hate speech. But Young Pharaoh's page, YouTube page, is still up and he has been saying a whole lot of horrific things. Brother Ben ain't never said no horrific things about killing people. We never, ever have said anything like that. But they took his page down, but Young Pharaoh's page is still up. According to the bylaws within YouTube, Young Pharaoh's violated many of them, yet his page is still up. Who is an agent? Be very careful, family. Be very careful. And we're not talking about joining nothing. You don't have to join any organization. No, we're talking about uniting with our people, coming together and doing something for ourselves. So anybody speaking negatively about 
these organizations, black folks coming together, doing something for ourselves, uniting, pulling our resources, etc. Let us separate from this system. Anybody who was black speaking against that, you need to look at them sideways. Look at them sideways. And if you don't agree with Minister Farrakhan, you don't have to. That is OK. I don't agree with everything everybody else says. All these people say things about the, with their groups and organizations. But I'm never going to disrespect you simply because I disagree with you. That is a trait. That's a very immature trait. Very. But I will say this. Um, the nation of Islam will continue doing the work because we actually are legit. We do the work. Uh, <laughs> most of these groups and organizations do the work. Hebrew Israelites, they have, they have schools. They do some good work in their communities. You know, certain groups, they do that. The Moor Science Temple, they're doing some very good work. Uh, good Christian churches do good work. Hey, our, our Orthodox Muslim brothers are doing good work. So family, come together and do something with these people. Come together and do something with our people. We don't have to agree, but we can unite our efforts so that we can do something for ourselves. We need freedom. We need justice. We need equality. And one of these individuals just hopped on here and demonstrated that he is not for the liberation of our people, not for uplifting our people. And uh, I guess uh, he's going to beat me up is what he said. Now, I'm about six foot seven, two ten, all muscle. Uh, I don't know. He's five, one, five something. And I, I don't know. But. I would love to have a sparring session and all of us need to train the martial arts. Everybody needs to train the martial arts because we have to do, you know, um, we have to fight and prepare ourselves for defense because the enemy is coming after all of us. It's just that simple. And people are asking, how did you stay that calm? Because I'm an FOI. I'm an FOI. What you're talking about? <laughs> That's how we're trained in the nation of Islam. That's how we are trained. Listen to how he was talking to me. Listen to how I was talking to him. And you eat a, eat a, I mean, just like, man, mother effer. Woo. Hey. Y'all can see. So the nation of Islam is what taught me how to be like this. And that's why I am like this. I don't know who taught him or whoever, all these people, the way they operate. But my example is Minister Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam. That is why I held my composure. That is why I'm able to be this calm. And that's why I'm able to direct my energy to the proper enemy, which happens to be the system of white supremacy, which happens to be our ignorance as a people, which happens to be that. That's our enemy. Not my brother, not my sisters. That's You're not the enemy. The enemy is ignorance. The enemy is the system of white supremacy. That's the real enemy. We are not one another's enemy. And that's something we got to get through our head. I am a follower of Minister Farrakhan, member of the Nation of Islam. That's what we about. That's how we operate. You're not going to get me to come into your game. That's that's not what we do. I definitely appreciate the attempt. But uh, let's continue to unite, fam. All right. FOI stands for Fruit of Islam. It is a name given to the military training of the men who belong to Islam in North America. For the women, you have what is called MGT. Muslim girls training. It is that training that helps the women to go back into learning the knowledge of self, how to keep house, how to uh, manage themselves at home and abroad. They are taught martial arts as well. They are taught how to cook and to sow and to rear and raise children. They are brought back into the queen mentality. God s mentality, the second self of God mentality. And we, of course, are brought back into our mentality as a soldier, as a king. That's what we are brought into. That's how we are. That's what the Nation of Islam is. And that is exactly why I love being a follower of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and why I love being a member of the Nation of Islam, because that's how we handle business. Much love to y'all. I appreciate you. Um, everybody go and subscribe to NFA Studios. That's our independent production company. We do have that. It's black owned as well. If there are any uh, bookings, anyone would like to book me for a speaking engagement, Click the link in my bio for that. I will be in Atlanta at the end of. <laughs> Yo. Yo, these niggas be so bad. <laughs> these niggas be so bad, dude. Yo, these niggas be so upset. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, these niggas be bad as fuck. These niggas be bad as fuck, my nigga. Get the fuck out of here. Nigga, suck my dick. Nigga, the fuck is you talking about?
But I just want to prove my point to the world. Okay, that these niggas be clout chasing. Let me show you these niggas be clout chasing. Okay? Let me let me show you the let me show you this this mad dark ass nigga clout chasing, okay? Let me show you something. This nigga mad at a post that we got into it with over a year ago. This shit say March 7th, 2018. Okay? Now, let me show y'all my recent post. Is he talking about I threatened somebody? Okay? Is this a threat? I said R.I.P. Malcolm X. Fuck nigga Louis Farrakhan had the audacity to flex two days before the day of your death like he ain't like he ain't the nigga, the fake ass nigga who set you up. And I got the receipts to prove it. Where did I threaten somebody? This nigga just want to argue for views. This nigga just mad, okay? This nigga just mad at the first time I washed these niggas up intellectually. So whenever niggas is, is intellectually upset that they can't fuck with you, now niggas want to fight. First of all, bitch, you not about to play me like that. Ain't nobody about to threaten you on the internet. I'm on parole. Who you think you, who you, think you fooling? I done been through this rodeo show before. But I'll tell you what. If you pop up anywhere I'm at and you already on the internet, let it be known that you want some smoke. I will finesse you, nigga. That's a fact. But other than that, bitch, I'm living my best life. I ain't going back to fuck with you, nigga. Ain't nobody thinking about you hoe ass niggas. Niggas, nigga, you want to suck Farrakhan dick, nigga? Go suck it, nigga. But everybody under this motherfucking umbrella of blackness don't give a fuck, nigga. Bitch, I said what I said. I said, I feel like Farrakhan set up Malcolm X, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? That's not disrespectful. I'm tired of y'all niggas clout chasing. And then when a the nigga address you, now a nigga threatens you. Bitch, where did I threat? Where did I threaten you at? 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 In my last post. My last post didn't even have nothing to do with you. My last post was about Farrakhan. If Farrakhan felt some type of way, Farrakhan could have responded. He don't need you, nigga. He don't need you, nigga. He don't need you, nigga. You mad as hell I played that video of Malcolm X busting out Elijah Muhammad for being a pedophile. If if, if y'all don't know why Malcolm X fell out with the Nation of Islam, now you do. Because Elijah Muhammad was fucking little girls and getting little girls pregnant, okay? Matter of fact, let me play the clip for y'all real quick before I go. Let me play the clip uninterrupted. Un-fucking-interrupted. And the nigga said the Nation of Islam was a criminal organization. Let me play the shit. Let me play the shit. Hold on. Let me play the shit. As long as that strong spiritual power was in the movement, Listen. It had, for having played a major as the rest of the Ku Klux Klan, there is a deal that the minute they were trying to make a deal with him to make available to Elijah Muhammad. Fuck that. I'm going right to the meat. I'm not looking for shit. Let me go to where he said the nigga... Got these See, underage girls pregnant. Listen. Two of the sisters had two children by the same man. See? And one of the two, one of those two sisters was pregnant still, getting ready to have a third child by the same man. Come on. This nigga got one of, this nigga got multiple little girls pregnant and got one of them pregnant three times. Talk about that. Niggas kill me. Niggas kill me on here trying to act like the Nation of Islam ain't, 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 ain't one of the grimiest motherfucking organizations on the planet. Nigga, eat that nigga. Eat that nigga. Elijah Muhammad got them little girls pregnant, motherfucker. Fuck is you talking about? And that's why Malcolm X and him fell out, because Malcolm X confronted him about it. And motherfucking, uh, what's the fuck is this dickhead name again? Elijah Muhammad tried to use religion as an excuse for why he could have sex with underage girls, and Malcolm X wasn't jacking that, and they fell out over that, and the Nation of Islam conspired to have that man killed, nigga. That's what it is, bitch. And if you feel some type of way about that, nigga, that's your fault, pussy. Learn how to motherfucking read and research. But don't be, don't, every time a nigga pull up some information, don't be talking about some disrespect. Who the fuck is you? You ain't nobody, nigga. You ain't nobody with your butt, with your fucking goofy looking ass. Sit your goofy ass down, nigga, get your motherfucking teeth fixed. Nigga mad, that nigga still hurt from last year. I'm gonna put chakra bars now. I, I, I got love for chakra, but I don't want to hear no peaceful shit. If that's what you about to come on here, go talk that peaceful shit to him. No disrespect to anybody. But I don't want to hear it. What's up, brother? Respect. Yeah. I know you seen that fiasco. And I, I ain't going to be too late because it's already late. But I'm going to just say this. I don't play that shit. Don't call. Don't send. The nigga going to act like he didn't send for me. How the fuck? 
Why the fuck else would I come in your life? Yes, you did send for this nigga is a studio ass nigga. That nigga clearly sent for me. I came, asked the nigga what's the issue. Let's get to the issue. I don't want to hear nothing about no why you worry about what I'm doing. Talking about Muay Thai. Nigga, what do Muay Thai got to do with what your issue is with me? Okay, your issue is my last post. You said I threatened somebody. Anybody with eyes that can you know, see, see that I didn't threaten nobody. You know that whole man. conversation that you man just had then? You should have just called each other one on one and had it because one of the no, problems is. Too, he, no, no, no. I don't, I don't talk. I don't he, talk he, his, his followers. I don't, I his followers, I, I seen, I seen the way they come to me. So I know the way they came to you. They came, yeah. you need to face him up. You, they came to me like that. And I, he just, he would already DM they me and said, yeah, bully, we, we need to. They be trying to bully. They be, you keep, I'm, I call it like, you ain't got to say it. I'll say it. They be trying to bully niggas. But my thing is, I'm not, I don't, don't, nigga. I don't give a fuck about you, nigga. I say what the fuck I want to say. If I say, Farrakhan set up Malcolm X. Nigga, post a receipt to disprove me. Anything other mm. than that, I don't give a fuck, nigga. That's not disrespect. If I'm lying, if I'm lying about uh, Malcolm X saying that Elijah Muhammad got them little girls pregnant, sue me for slander, nigga. Sue me for slander. Sue me for slander. Mm. If I'm lying, what you talking about? If I'm lying, you know, gotta make that up. So that the only thing is, the only thing is, I hear you, and. You know, I hear what he's trying to protect. When you're in an organization, he says that they're a military and, and so on and so Man, forth. Them niggas ain't well, shit. But, them niggas, them niggas, them right, niggas but, still getting money from the motherfucking... He gonna call me an agent, but Farrakhan... No, 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 but, but, let's, but this, is, this, this, is, this is two things that we need to agent. just avoid. Every single black person that has a discrepancy with another black person is an agent nowadays, right? I've been called an agent. You've been called an agent. I'm sure he's been called an agent. But what we need to move away from is being like the conscious reality TV argument shit. Because that doesn't listen, make sense. I'm not, I don't claim the conscious community. I don't claim none of this. And I don't care what somebody labels me as, to tell you the mm. truth. But I, I actually understand where you're going. But my thing is, I don't give a fuck. If a nigga call me, a nigga better be a nigga better have a receipt. I came with my receipts. You called me, I brought my receipts. I didn't come on there to argue. So it's let me let me say this to you, Shaka Bars. He trying to talk to me like I'm a little nigga. I put more work in, in these motherfucking streets than Riza Islam could in three years in three lifetimes. You're not talking to me like that, bro. I'm not no little nigga, bro. If if he was talking to me like that, we was upstate, I'll leave that nigga in his cell. So don't talk to me like that. Second of all, I didn't I didn't bring up violence. He brought up violence. So I don't understand why this nigga is trying to paint this magical motherfucking picture of me like I came on there being crazy. He brought up, I didn't bring up violence. I didn't bring up threats. I didn't do nothing. All I said was, nigga, what is the issue? Because it's one in the morning. I don't plan on being here all night. And I tried to play my receipts and go. This nigga came with the fuck shit and they gonna try to flip it on me like I'm the nigga out of pocket. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't threaten that nigga in no post. I didn't t mention that nigga name. I tagged who the fuck I was talking to. Louis Farica. I didn't tag with Islam. This nigga so, is clout chasing. Why, why don't you both have a debate public? Uh, I asked, uh, listen, I asked, you're late, bro. I asked these okay. niggas to debate three times in the last three years. They said no every time. Everybody is a witness to this. The last time uh, I asked them to debate was three months ago. And they said no, and we left it alone. And I, it's it's been over. So this is my whole point. Why are you calling me on your live tonight, asking me about shit that I posted a year ago when I asked you three times to debate in the last year? Look, Rizza. I mean, excuse me. Look, Chakra. Look, because I I don't want nobody to never say I'm lying. Look, I'm pulling up the last video I did. Watch this. Look, Young mm. Pharaoh challenges N O I to a debate. Now look what the timestamp say. What this say? Look, what that say? Mm, four months ago. Okay. And that was like the third or fourth time. And they said no. And we left it alone. And so You challenged I, the whole of the nation of Islam for debate. No, 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 no. If you watch the video, I specifically called out asking for him. Rizza, yeah, I specifically either called out Riza Islam or Brother Ben. Because if you if you don't know the background story, this whole thing started because Ben X was trolling me. These mm. niggas be trolling me. And then when I respond, mm. they try to act like I'm starting some shit. Ben X little dankhead weasel ass was trolling me. And I, I mm. crashed on the nigga intellectually. 
And then I mm -hmm. challenged the nigga to a debate. He said he didn't want to debate. Boom. Rizza Islam jumped in it, because that's his man, like he supposed to do. He jumped mm -hmm. in it. I challenged Rizza Islam to a debate. He denied it. Now, that was like twice within at least anywhere between 6 to 11 months ago. Then four mm -hmm. months ago, I challenged either one of them niggas to a debate, or I even told them niggas, go get, go get. I told them niggas, if y'all two don't want to debate, go get your top scholar from the Nation of Islam, and we can debate. Nobody wanted to debate. So this shit been quiet all this time. It ain't been no energy. This nigga coming out of the blue, going live, telling me to come in his live, and he upset about so, some shit. So if I, can set up, if I can set up a debate, you be down to debate. If you can set up a debate, and that nigga could... You need to, you need to both be there. It's not going to be a live. No, 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 no. We it's going to be both. Live. We could do a live. We could do a live. That's, that's, we could do a mm. live. Listen, when I, I feel like you should. I feel like you should listen, both be there, but they're not going to no, do the listen, whole when ten debate, man security listen, thing. When I debate niggas on my channel, when I debate niggas on my channel, everybody will tell you I got a timer. That motherfucker be playing on my phone. When it's your turn to go, nigga, you better go. You got fifteen minutes. Then when that timer go off, quiet. I go, and then you go, then I go, and we might do two, three rounds like that where we both get three, two, three exchanges of fifteen minutes. If a nigga want to debate, that's nothing. And we can keep the topic the same. My topic was, is the, has the nation of Islam been more helpful or harmful to the black community? If them niggas want to step up to that debate, bring your ass. Anything other than that, all of that, I'm hurt over what you said a year ago, and now I want to fight, and I'm blah, blah. Nigga, keep that shit to yourself, my nigga. Ain't nobody arguing with your pussy ass on the internet. Because every time I argue with a nigga on the internet, they call my PO or they do some some creepy. I'm not arguing with niggas on the motherfucking internet because they upset mm. about information. About information. A nigga can't go nowhere on my Instagram and find a threat. Listen to me, Shaka Bars. I'm on parole. What do I look like threatening anybody on the internet? This nigga is mm. lying. And then he got the nerve to call me a liar. Nigga, you telling me I'm threatening you? You wasn't even tagged in my post. What are you talking about? Keep it real. If you want to keep it real, if we're going to be real, be real. You, them niggas mad that I drug them niggas. Every last one of these videos got 60,000, 100,000 plus views. Them niggas mad that I drug them niggas all across the internet scholastically and they didn't have nobody for me. And motherfucking Ben X got the entire nation of Islam and some shit with one nigga that they was not ready for. And the nigga still feel some type of way deep down inside about that. And the nigga used tonight as a, as a stepping, as a stepping stone to try to jump back in time to go to go down a road that's been closed. So nigga, if you wanna, if that nigga want, if that nigga got an issue with the information, he's had four different times to address this shit in a year. What is he talking mm. about? The nigga just feel some type of way, which is cool. But I rather you, I rather that nigga just see. He he mad at me because I let my nuts hang. Cause I tell you, nigga, I don't like you. I didn't come on there and tell that nigga I didn't like you. All he had to do is say, Young Pharaoh, I don't like you. I feel some type of way. What's the issue? Don't try to don't try to script some shit and draw some shit and accuse me of some shit I never did and then bring up an issue that we've been done and over with and then act like it's relevant now. When the fuck did I ever threaten you? I never threatened you. Not saying I didn't threaten you because I'm fearful of you, but I didn't threaten you because I didn't threaten you. My last post, this is my last, look at my last post, Shaka Bar. Do you see Rizzo Islam name in here? No. I said, the fuck nigga Louis Farrakhan had the audacity to flex two days before the day of your death like he ain't the fake ass nigga who set you up. That's what I said. That's not a threat. Don't try to turn don't try to turn that into a threat. Well, you, you know you know religion and religious leaders. Said, it, like People come out religious. to defend their they leaders. They say they're not religious. They say they're not religious. They say it's a way it's, of life. But it's, it's called a nation of a it's, it's called a nation of a, of a religion though. No, they, they so they say it's not a religion. Listen, I've been through this with these niggas thousands of times. They say they're not religious. They say that they don't believe in Islam the way that the Muslims in the East do. And they say that Islam stands for I, self, Lord, and Master. It is not a religion. It's a way of life. Therefore, they don't get that excuse. They don't get that excuse. Mm. That's out their mouth. That's on, that's on tape. So that being so, said, what's the issue? Can, I feel like the issue is like them, he the Hebrew he Israelites. He cloud chasing. He cloud chasing. He cloud chasing. Maybe he's Come responding on, to all his followers. He cloud chasing. Call it like it is. He cloud chasing. <laughs> Young Pharaoh doing numbers right now. His Instagram popping right now. 
We want to start a beef with you. But both girl. of you, both so both of you, up. Instagrams are popping though. No, that nigga not. That nigga ain't on my level. That nigga okay. ain't on my level. That nigga popping in his own weak ass world. I'm international. I'm international. I'm international. I'm international. I'm international. He don't you know the energy. Wrong. You know the energy that you have. The energy that he has. The energy that I have. The yes, energy I'm we in, could I'm come together and do something. I'm why. I'm, I'm, I'm international. He, he risen Islam. Listen, Chakra. He oh, fam, I'm, in, I'm international I'm too. Good. <laughs> I'm blessed to have you on here, and I ain't hating on you, baby. Do your thing. I ain't go. I ain't go. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is, is no I ain't gonna can, can, no views. So can 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 we get? I need I, I need some kind of reasoning because I just feel like there's a lot of energy here. And out of this energy, could you imagine what that energy could do collectively, working together? Because listen, when we used to have debates listen, like this, it used listen, to be in front of the village. Listen to, listen to what I'm saying to you. Do you know who mm. Alistair Crowley is? Yeah. Okay, so you aware that Alistair Crowley has documented on, a, 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 you ever heard of the goddamn, uh, what's them shit called? The Kowsey reports or some shit? Listen, this nigga Alistair uh, Crowley, this nigga Alistair Crowley has been involved in over 150 child sacrifices. This nigga was, mm -hmm. was chopping baby skulls open and drinking the blood. Now, why is this important? Ron L. Hubbard was a student of Aleister Crowley, okay? Ron L. Hubbard beat up his own wife and kids. So the Nation of Islam is supposed to be for the support of the black family, but you telling people to engage in the teachings of not only a person who said he was racist, not only a person who said that Muhammad was a broke-ass beggar and didn't restore Islam, but that nigga destroyed his own family. And then he passed his organization down to David Miskovich, and David Miskovich kidnapped his own wife, allegedly, and she's been missing for 13 years. And David Miskovich's own father said that his son is the devil and that he beats and abuses the members of Scientology. So if the if the Church of Scientology is not only founded on a satanic cult, the goddamn icon for the Church of Scientology cross is the Rosicrucian cross, which is a satanic cross, why would I fuck with a group of niggas that fuck with them? Why would I do that? You know why they started Scientology? Who, Ron L. Hubbard? No, I'm saying, yeah, well, do you know why it was started? Yeah, listen, I did a whole lecture on it. Look, bro, let me show you Just something. Just money. This whole... Nigga, this is, this is 83 slides. No, 93 slides of an entire lecture I did on the Church of Scientology. I know everything about them. But for, for all the people live right now, the Church of Scientology was basically started because if you control a religion, you control the people with money and the energy. Right. You can do what you want. It's for That's power. Right. You can say all oh, what whatever is just for power. That's where they started it. Money, money, power. And so I feel like that's why anybody who, who's trying to mess with them wants to mess with them is money and power. Exactly. That's true. That's true. That's true. And, and I'm not yeah. going to say you said it because you didn't say it, but I'm going to say it. That's the only reason why they mentioned um, the Islam who have taught that the white man is the devil all of these years will go fuck with a known organization who is openly racist and openly satanic. Come on now. Well, listen, let me tell you something, Chakra. If you seen me, let me pick, if you seen me fucking with the Ku Klux Klan, how would you feel about it? Um, you would you, you be like, what Marcus no. Garvey tried to do. Listen, listen, you would be like, hell that's, no. That's what Marcus Garvey tried to do when he thought he could sit down with them and then he got shut down. Now, we ain't talking about sit down. We, we, ain't, we ain't talking about sit down. We talking about fucking with him. If you see me at a Ku Klux Klan rally telling, telling black people to come to come fuck with the goddamn Ku Klux Klan, y'all would not jack that. So why so why why am I supposed to jack uh, what you gonna call it? If, if why am I supposed to jack Louis Farrakhan telling black people to go fuck with the Church of Scientology where Ron L. Hubbard was an open racist and now the nigga feeling stupid. Let me let me read this to y'all again before I go. He trying to act like Farrakhan don't fuck with Ron L. Hubbard. This is from Farrakhan Facebook. Farrakhan said, I'm setting the record straight, okay? I can prove that I didn't get a dime from Dianetics or Scientology. 
I saw something in the value of Dianetics that we could use, okay? I respect Ron L. Hubbard. Ron L. Hubbard said that the South African native, aka black people, is probably the one impossible person to train in the entire world. He is probably impossible by any human standard. Then he said the Zulu is the only outside the bars of a madhouse because there are no madhouses provided by his tribe. This is what this is what L. Ron Hubbard said about us. So why would I go fuck with L. Ron Hubbard, bro? What are you talking about? What fair what are you talking about, Farrakhan? Why would I go fuck with L. Ron Hubbard for? When he just said that I'm a fucking savage. He just said I'm I'm unable to be educated by any human standard. Why would I go fuck with L. Ron Hubbard? And now these niggas is mad. Now these niggas is upset because I brought receipts. Now when nigga talking about where you get that from, where you get that from, where you get that from, nigga, you know exactly where I got this from. Don't play them games. And let me end on this. Let me end on this. Let me end on this because because the nigga Rizzo want to play games. Bro, we not here to play games, bro. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all walked into a building, right? If y'all walked into a building and y'all seen a big ass satanic head, okay? Wouldn't you bust a U-turn? Wouldn't you be like, hell, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I asked the nigga Rizza, ain't that you speaking in the Church of Scientology? He said, yeah. Look at this. He said it was him. He confirmed it. This is a satanic cross. Look, it's the Rosicrucian cross right here, used by Aleister Crowley. It's the same cross. So why would you get in front of this podium and speak to your people? Nigga, you think we don't see that Masonic hand gesture you do? You're not slick. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Niggas ain't slick, bro. Niggas not slick, bro. If I walk into a church and I see an upside down cross, nigga, I'm busting a U turn, nigga. The fuck is you talking about? I'm not about to be in there telling my people to fuck with these people in the Church of Scientology is known racist, known Satanist, known occultist. Come on. Listen, if y'all don't believe that L. Ron Hubbard knew Aleister Crowley, I'm about to play a video of him right now saying that he knew Aleister Crowley, and I'm gone after this. I'm going after that. I did a whole lecture on this shit. Look. Look. Listen. Listen to this is this is L. Ron Herbert. Listen. I he could simply say I have action. Uh, magician. Uh, the magic cults of the eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth centuries in the Middle East were fascinating. The only modern work that has anything to do with them is trifle wild in spots. But it's fascinating work in itself, and that's work written by Alistair Crowley. The late he said, Alistair Crowley, listen. Alistair Crowley, my very good friend. Let me run it back. Alistair Crowley, my very good friend. Listen. Rifle Wild in Spots, but it's fascinating work in itself, and that's work written by Alistair Crowley, the late Alistair Crowley, my very good friend. Okay, it's quiet now. Now, this is Alistair Crowley. Alistair Crowley, own mama, said that he was the fucking devil in the flesh. This is a book right here. Okay, called The Magic of Thelema, written by Aleister Crowley. And this book is about how to sacrifice children. I got the fucking page right here. If you go to page 93 in the book, it tells you right here that he performed over 150 human sacrifices on children. Okay? And the niggas say that the most powerful energy is the unborn child. Come on, man. And y'all niggas talking about go fuck with Scientology? Is you crazy? But I'm a, but I'm a motherfucking agent. Come on, bro. Get out of here. Niggas better stop using it. Niggas just be throwing that motherfucking uh niggas be niggas just be throwing that motherfucking word around so loosely and so motherfucking comfortable. Nigga, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Y'all niggas can't fuck with me, nigga. Bring a book, nigga. Now niggas mad, niggas wanna fight. Nigga, you can't even fight. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Now niggas wanna fight cause cause niggas can't see me with this. Nigga, nigga denied the debate four times. Nigga denied the debate four times. And, but now you now all of a sudden I threat nigga go go should go find the threat go po go find the threat that I posted nigga ain't nobody post no threat nigga what the fuck is you talking about you mad the, the the goddamn covers is being pulled off you niggas that's what you mad at nigga that's what you mad at nigga you mad the motherfucking wool has been pulled off your motherfucking off your high ass nigga now now nigga he said he knew Alistair Crowley that was his good friend nigga they trained. They they study together all of that, nigga. Come on. Jack Parsons, 
Nigga, Jack Parsons and L. Ron Hubbard was doing homosexual rituals. Nigga, I got the proof. Nigga, I did a whole fucking lecture on this shit, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. And you you supposed to be for the black family. And L. Ron Hubbard, own son, killed his fucking self because he was getting abused by his father. I'm going to say allegedly, though. Nigga, what you talking about, nigga? L. Ron Hubbard destroyed his own family, and he was racist, and he's a fucking devil worshiper, and he made the logo of his organization a fucking satanic cross, motherfucker. And he got the Dianetics research from motherfucking Al from Aleister Crowley from a form of hypnosis, nigga. And then you gonna sit here and, 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 and motherfucking try to tell us to go fuck with them, nigga? Out of all the buildings in motherfucking California, you couldn't you couldn't pick another one that wasn't a fucking saint a fucking church of saint Satanism, nigga. You might as well went to the goddamn church of Satanism. What you talking about, nigga? That's facts. That's facts. And then the nigga want to say the nation of Islam is not partnered with the Church of Scientology. Yes, y'all are. Look at these. Look at these before I go. Look at these. Look at these. Look at these. The nation of Islam is not partnered with the Church of Scientology, right? What's this? Where they at? In the Church of Scientology. Who book is that behind them? L. Ron Hubbard's racist ass. Who is this? Uh-oh. Nation of Islam. Who book is that? L. Ron Hubbard's. What's that? Satanic cross. Let's keep it moving. Who is this? Look. Uh-oh. Nation of Islam pumping they shit. Who is this? Nation of Islam pumping they shit. Who is this? Nation of Islam pumping they shit. Look, I got more. This is a whole nother event. Church of Scientology in Harlem, Nation of Islam, Satanic Cross. These niggas is in London. Look at these niggas in London, all the way in the UK. Now look at this clown ass, goofy ass nigga. Okay? Okay? Look at this goofy ass nigga. Come on, bro. Who you? Y'all niggas ain't fooling nobody, nigga. I do my research, bro. I do my research, bro. I don't get on the internet and open my fucking mouth for, nigga. I'm not no gossiping ass channel, nigga. I do my research, nigga. If y'all niggas want to debate, nigga, bring that shit, nigga fuck is you talking about? And then, let me hit you with this. Let me hit you with this. Let me hit you with this on the way out. Okay? Because Ron L. Hubbard said, if you practice Scientology, nigga, you a Scientologist. So the nation of anybody who went in there and was motherfucking practicing Scientology in any kind of way, this is what Ron L. Hubbard had to say about you. Ron L. Hubbard said, when somebody enrolls, consider he or she has joined up for the duration of the universe. Never permit an open-minded approach. If they are enrolled, they're aboard. And if they're aboard, they're here on the same terms as the rest of us. Win or die in the attempt. Okay? Now look at your boy with his enrollment certificate. Okay? Nigga, that's the standards, nigga. So you're not a Muslim. You're a Scientologist, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. I'm a beast, nigga. I'm a beast. I'm a beast. I'm a beast. I'm a beast, bro. I ate y'all niggas up on this subject a year ago, and you feel some type of way. Just say that. And you trying to call me on your live and create a scenario right now, okay, that don't exist because you really mad about what happened last year. You're clout chasing, nigga, and you still can't fuck with me, bro. Fuck is you talking about, bro?